Tonight we're going to pray over um, our friends that are in the Arctic, uh, that are doing ministry up there. Pastor David Tina have a church called New Beginnings Church, and they're based in Barrow, which is at the top of our continent, but they are reaching into the villages that very, very few are going into. And so they've asked us to um, pray over different needs. Uh, one of the things they want to do is they want to start a Christian school in Barrow. Um, they really have a heart to start this. And so we want to just pray that and they believe that that was something that's been put on their heart. And so we just want to pray that through. Lord, we're so thankful for our family in Barrow, Alaska, God, and what you are doing there and what just an added light they are to this far-flung family, God. We just want to say how thankful we, we are that we've met them, that they're a part of this place, God. Right now, we lift them up. God, you see the desires of their heart. God, we believe and they believe that you have put these desires and these things in them, God. And we just ask that you would see them through, Lord. 
God, that you would begin these dreams that you put in them, they would begin to see um, things come into place for that, Lord. That resources and pe the right people at the right time, Lord, for this school, God. And that it would just be a light to that community and these kids would get an education, God. And an education in who you are, Lord. That they would see who you are, God, and they would learn the word as they um, learn math and science and all these things, God. And that this would just be a light in that community, Lord. That it would be something that is just uplifting to the kids in that community and the families in that community, Lord. God, send the resources, Lord. Send the people to them, God. Jesus. Um, one of the things that they're wanting to do more of, God has just been opening the doors into the villages. Um, over the last really year, has just really been opening it up. Um, and they want to do more of it. They're opening it up so much. We just spoke on the phone before to fly to these villages. It would take anywhere between four hundred and a thousand dollars a person to fly from Barrow, and so that's just extremely expensive. And it's only like seventy-five miles away, but it just costs so much because it's just so hard to get there, and there's not a lot of flights that are going there. We just want to pray into that because that's on my heart. Um, I love Barrow. I love the people of Barrow. We want to get into these seven neighboring villages. So let's just pray that God will continue to open these doors, whether it's paving an ice road or bringing resources, whatever it is, that we can bring the gospel into these places that are in the corners of the earth. God, we thank you that you have seen these villages and you have put them into our hearts. And I ask you, God, that you would continue to put that passion in us to reach those that no one sees but you. And God, I ask you that you would give us a route into these villages, whether it's through resources, or it's through paving ice roads, or it's through chartering planes, or it's through the internet and, and streaming service, whatever it is, God. Lord, we are willing and we are wanting to say yes. We are willing to go. And Lord, we ask you that you would open the doors. Lord, that Pastor David and Tina would just burn for it. They would dream for it. And they would just get the opportunity to share the love of Christ to these areas that no one is going, that no one can get to, Lord. These areas that feel forgotten, that feel hopeless and pointless. God, that they would meet you with destiny, that they would find purpose in you, God. Lord, that they would know the love of the Father. God, I ask you that you would be in the midst of our travels, through their travels, God, that you would do the impossible in these villages, that God would be evident, the hand of God would be evident in these villages. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we're so thankful that you have connected the Matthews family with our family, with this family, Far Flung, Tinking. We're just so thankful that we have connected, that we're not just partners, but we've become family one with another. And so we just speak that this child that's coming forth from Taya, that, that she'll soon bring into this world, that with it will come a chapter in their entire family. That this will be like new beginnings, like a new birth for them. But not just for Daniel and Taya and not just for, for David and Tina, but this would trickle throughout their family. That there would be a ripple effect of something that's done in an unseen hand. God, we watched you plant in the Amazon something specific in hearts that they carried back with them. We know that you are orchestrating open doors for each of their children and their grandchildren. And I am not un unaware of the snares that the enemy has placed even since we've come back 
from Brazil and, and even since they've started other endeavors, how, how the enemy in sl a sly way has planted lies and we don't live unaware of the snares of the enemy. We just pray that you would grant wisdom and that you would place shepherds in their paths that would guide them, that would make them aware of the snares of the enemy and the lies that are being whispered. And I pray that there would be a spring and a well that would be made on their path, that when they're thirsty and when they're dry and when they're weary and when they're questions and when it seems like there are things around them that are darker than the light that is within them. I ask that you would place individuals, even strangers, that they could not run far enough and they could not ever be so distant from you that your word does not echo in their hearts. And so we call for the anointing that was placed in them as children, even in David, even in Tina, even when they were were young and before they understood your word we pray that things that were spoken and promises that were given into their lives we would see them fruitful even in this era so we condemn every lie whispered and we pray that not, not that you would guard because I know they will feel the blows of life. I pray that you would make them able to withstand. Not that they would never feel knocked down, but I pray that you would out heal every hurt. that your healing would be beyond every pain, that there would be no wound left untreated. And God, as they heal, let an anointing rise within their lives for the entire region. I pray that worship songs would begin to flow from their hearts that they would begin to write and to dream and visions. I pray for visions that they don't even ask for, that we're asking to plant visions in their life over Daniel and Taya and David Jr., over all of them, that they would leave some stuff on the court. But when they step off the court, when they step into life, when they step into classrooms, when they step into other chapters of their life, that there would be visions that would come from you beyond careers and beyond callings that God, that you sized visions would take place in their hearts. And God, I speak against a sleepy spirit that would try to lull them to sleep. I speak against dark seasons that would try to cloud their judgment. Let something happen from within that cannot be denied by their own hearts. place them in your hands and I'm thankful that you never sleep and you never slumber that you never take days off that you're never on vacation and that you will always watch out and always care and always chase and you always leave the 99 every single time to come after. We bless them tonight. We call them family tonight. Father, we 
We're so grateful, Lord, for your goodness. Lord, as we pray, Father, for Pastor David, Lord, and Tina, Lord, in Barrow, Alaska, Father, we ask, Lord, that you would begin to stir the hearts of people, Lord, that they would begin to, to, to feel a stirring, God, that they may not understand initially, Lord, but that they would begin to understand through your Holy Spirit, God, that you're drawing them, Lord, to Barrow, Alaska, Lord. We're asking specifically for that, God, Lord, that you would begin to, Lord, reveal to people, Lord, the need, Lord, that you would put a desire, Jesus, not just, Lord, for any missions but specifically, God, to take the light of your glory to a barrel, Alaska. Lord, I'm believing, Jesus, that not only are you going to send laborers, you are going to send people with assignment, God. You will send people, Lord, that will be called to every area, to every aspect, God. Lord, that as they go, Lord, your spirit and your glory goes with them, God. That as they work and as they do what you have called them to do, Lord, that the, that the atmosphere, Lord, is going to begin to shift, God. So, Lord, I pray specifically, God, that you would begin to rise up people, Lord, that have a heart, Lord, that even if it's to the ends of the earth, Lord, that they would follow your lead, that they would follow your lead, Jesus, Lord, that they would hear your voice, God. So often we get caught up in the busyness, Lord, but I pray, Lord, that you would begin to turn down the noise in the hearts of people that you're calling out, Lord, from among the people of to go, Lord, to barrel, Lord Jesus, to do your work, Lord, to take your gospel, to take your light, to take your peace, to take your joy, God, Lord, to be of an encouraging, Lord, of encouragement over their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray, Lord, raise up the light laborers, God, rise them up, Jesus, rise them up in the name of Jesus, Lord, let them be stirred in your name, we pray, God. We love you, Jesus. He is my faithful foe, calling me out of the dark. 
You never lost a battle 